Hey everybody, it's me again. Now, this video is not going to be very long, but it is going to be directed towards something that's been bothering me. Or should I say, bothers me from time to time. Let me, let's put, let's frame it like this. Anybody who actually has a Windows machine understands that there's going to be updates, and sooner or later, we're going to get, we're going to do everything with, in our power in order to avoid those updates for as long as possible but when they go through occasionally you get um, some kind of splash screen that well, that moves on a, a couple of steps and then all of a sudden you're at the login and then they want your Microsoft login I don't want to use that if I set up a machine with password and authentication and all that I do not want to have to go through Microsoft and have a Microsoft account to do this. No way. So, I decided I'm going to go into PowerShell and I am going to go and disable that. I mean, why do we need to have it if we don't want it? So, I'm going to RDP into my tester and PowerShell, run it as administrator. And I am just going to go into the properties here and just make it a little bit bigger so that way you guys can read it a little bit more clearly. Okay. So I did some checking and I found and I found the script and I tested it out a couple of times and since I'm a slow typist this is faster so the command basically get local user and the object and then the domains and this is what affects the Microsoft account you just want to disable that local user so that should be it so next time I actually have to get back in here I shouldn't have an issue so if I restart you see you got that right there but we're just going to do a regular restart And we just wait for it. Okay, now let's just go into RDP. And let me just enter my credentials. And I should be in in just a moment. See? no Microsoft login just straight to it and that's what I wanted thank you 